My name is Katie Cagnet. My name is Melissa. This is my kiddo, Charlie. I'm Frankie. My name is April, and this is my son, Carter. This is my dad. VHL, Von Hippo Lindau disease. What the heck is that? VHL is a condition that you, where you can grow tumors in up to 10 different places in the body. The tumors can be in your brain, mm -hmm. um, your spinal cord, your eyes, um, the retina specifically, yeah. your inner ear and your endolymphatic sac. Um, they can be in your kidneys, um, your pancreas, your adrenal glands, um, the reproductive system. So um, that would be epididymal cysts for men or cysts in the broad, broad ligaments for women. Um, and then also more recently we've learned that there are benign asymptomatic lesions in the lungs and liver. We are all born with the VHL gene and uh, it's a tumor suppressor gene. Uh, in our case, uh, the VHL gene has mutated some kind of way. So VHL disease is a genetic condition. Um, affects one in 36,000 people. 20% of all VHLers are de novo mutations. Which are first in family cases. Um, right now, there is no cure, and the main form of treatment is surgery. So I've had a long journey and about eight surgeries. I lost my eyesight in a uh, kidney. I had a few tumors, and some of them were deeply deep inside the cerebellum. I had the Whipple's procedure. Um, this is probably my worst operation that I've had so far. You have an egg-sized tumor in your cerebellum and need surgery, like, immediately, or you're going to die. It started when I was two, and I was the youngest ever VHL patient. In those five years alone, I had 27 tumors in my left eye. I had two growths, pretty significant ones that had grown. Uh, one was up here on the left side of my brain, and one was on my brain stem. Kidney cysts. My kidney was riddled with them. I had tumors. I, and I had renal cell carcinoma. Got a partial nephrectomy done of my right kidney. I had five brain tumors and a cyst. We found a huge endolymphatic sac tumor in my left ear that had actually grown into my brain and spidered around my neck and up. 15 brain surgeries and a few other ones. I think the final count now is 21. His biggest fear was not knowing when he's going to have his next surgery. The way that I survive with this and the way that I deal with it every single day is I look for the hope. I'm still a lover of life and a, I have a mission on this planet. And so I guess in some ways growing up with a rare disease really helps you in your family, really helps you focus on a uh, some of the important things. How realistic is it that we're going to find a cure soon? And it's very realistic that we're going to find treatments. Um, we, may, we may not have a full rewrite of our genes in the next 10 years, but there's some drugs out there and some other options that are being tested right now. I'm sure you are probably wondering why you should know about von hippel lindau or VHL. The reason why VHL is so important for us to study is because whether, whether it's a VHL-related tumor or cyst or it's another com kind of completely unrelated cancer, we don't know right now what causes our bodies to kind of flip the light switch and start growing those cells or those tumors. Because of the fact that we can actually study how this one mutation results in very different manifestations in different organs in the body, it allows us to make some profound observations about cancer itself. This has resulted in a number of drugs already that have been approved for treatment of various cancers. Curing cancer through VHL. You can be amazing, turn a phrase into a weapon or a drug. You can be the outcast to feed the backlash of somebody's life and love. Or you can start speaking up. Nothing's gonna hurt you the way the words do is they suddenly meet your skin. Death on the inside and no sunlight, sometimes it's shadows. But I wonder what would happen if you say what you want to say. 
and let the words fall out. Honestly, I wanna see you be bright. It's what you were say. Just let the words fall out. Honestly, I wanna.